Okay, so we are here for the Real You uh, webinar. And Isabel and Wade are still on a personal leave. So it will be me today. My name is Leanne Kalanoffin, and I am one of the partners here with Real You. I also am the founder of LeanneKalanoffin.com. And I am also in the uh, creation stage of uh, seeing the signs, uh, which is a course for parents to help them see the signs of both mental and emotional health in their children as soon as possible. And uh, so that uh, parents can be supported, equipped, and empowered in helping their children manage, manage their mental and emotional health. So, so today we are gonna be talking about three major areas. So we're gonna be first talking about five main benefits uh, of mindfulness for children. We're gonna be talking about eight mindful breathing tips and then we are going to finish by um, doing or uh, learning a mindfulness breathing technique and exercise that you can use with your children for relaxation <laughs> So the five main uh, benefits of mindfulness for children are executive functioning, mental health, well-being, learning, and physical health. So I'm just going to read a little bit uh, of what this, what all of these are, and what each of them, uh, what it actually means. So for executive functioning, these are a, a range of skills that provide uh, foundations for educational and social activities. So things like um, working memory, uh, perspective taking, decision making, emotional regulation, problem solving, planning and impulse control. So the benefits of, of uh, effective functioning that a child would obtain from mindfulness exercises are improved working memory, reduced impulsivity. Uh, so an example of uh, a reduced impulsivity would be like if a child had their toy taken out of their hand on the school ground and instead of reacting and grabbing it back, calming themselves down, maybe taking a deep breath in before asking nicely for it back. So that's an example of that. Uh, promotes planning and organization skills, develops the ability to initiate and monitor their own actions, encourages cognitive flexibility so like considering other person's uh, another person's point of view um, building emotional intelligence which is the ability to notice and manage one's own emotions um, and enhance skills that lead to thoughtful decision making. So they, these are all the benefits that a child can obtain from implementing mindfulness skills uh, just under the executive functioning that they, uh, skills that they, that they are growing into and learning. So area number two that a child can benefit in is a mental health. Um, now I do want to say and definitely encourage that parents work alongside and in, and, um, team up with professionals when it comes to your child's mental health. Okay. Um, 
So the areas within mental health that you're that you can see uh, improve with your children doing mindfulness is uh, reduce anxiety and stress, improves attention and focus, decrease negative self belief, uh, enhances happiness eases uh, symptoms of depression, helps overcome uh, uh, osmotic symptoms, physical symptoms caused by psychological problems. So, stimulates a mindful self-awareness, um, improves social and emotional skills, um, it develops the ability to manage difficult emotions, decreases hyperactivity and aggression, improves behavior of regulation, uh, reduces uh, reactivity and encourages reflection, improves um, relaxation and calmness, relieves fears and feelings of helplessness and balances high and low energy levels. The third area that this, that mindfulness benefits children is in their, in their mindfulness, sorry, their well-being, <laughs> their well-being, their overall well-being. So it improves self-esteem, supports at, uh, attainment of personal goals, uh, enhances empathy and optimism, persistence and, re and resi resilience, <laughs> promotes development of social relationships, very important by the way, creates self-connection and self-awareness and expands connection with nature. And the fourth thing would be learning. So I'm talking about how they learn in a, a school and just in general, okay? So it expands the met, metacognition, which is just a huge big word that essentially means the ability to think about thinking or thinking about thinking. Improves academic performance, eases test anxieties, I don't know about you, but when I took tests, it got kind of nerve wracking. So it actually eases those anxieties, enhances creativity, leads to more effective uh, utilization of knowledge, enriches reasoning skills and clarity, improves posture, which assists in fine motor tasks and skills, such as writing promotes better work habits and cooperation, which will definitely come in handy as they get older, <laughs> and increases school attendance rate, which at the moment uh, may come in handy for you if you're a mom at home, right? <laughs> you definitely want them showing up. No, <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, the fifth uh, main benefit of teaching your child mindfulness is physical health. It lowers blood pressure. It improves digestive digestion and elimination. It strengthens the immune system. It promotes better sleep. It helps chronic illnesses. Um, it increases body awareness and motor planning. It enhances sensory in integration and reduces stress hormones set, such as cortisol. Anyways, these are the five main benefits that uh, teaching your children mindfulness will, will benefit your, ch your child. Now, as a mom myself, these benefits are huge because they're not just beneficial to my children, they're actually beneficial to me as well, to, my, to, our, to our family and to the overall functioning and, and harmony 
of the family as a unity. So definitely, definitely uh, worth practicing and practicing and practicing building those mindfulness skills.